Since the fire in January 2018, several questions remain unanswered about the chain of events which led to the deadly blaze. The Jamaica Fire Brigade report concluded that an electrical short circuit was the cause. But other issues have lingered, prompting Mrs. Goff to formally request details under the Access to Information Act. She states that among her difficulties is getting details on the state of criminal and civil investigations into the matter. Her latest setback occurred recently, and she has indicated that she will be pushing back. So I ati the Office of the Children's Advocate in March, and after one extension, I received last week Friday a batch of documents about the investigation and then also a blanket refusal or denial of all other documents, just a blanket denial and also um, no listing of what documents were being denied. So it makes it very difficult to challenge if you don't even know. So I think I will go further with that and may do an appeal to the tribunal. Months after the fire, it was announced that a state-of-the-art facility will be built with an estimated price tag of $106 million. In the meantime, Mrs. Goff is also raising questions about the finances of children's homes in general and the protocol to be established between utility companies and the facilities. Is there any level of financial monitoring of uh, children's homes and places of safety, particularly the private ones, because there is a long-standing issue that the government subvention is not sufficient to cover the full cost of looking after the children in their care. I think also there needs to be some question about whether there is a need for uh, utility companies to notify CPFSA of pending disconnections of service to um, licensed child care facilities, again, because of the potential uh, risk to the children in those uh, facilities. And there are further questions Mrs. Goff believes can be addressed by the Education Ministry and the Director of Public Prosecutions. But at this point, it, it's necessary for us to get updates from the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information, status of any commitments they made to audits or reports. There was also the collection of grants and, and donations for the rebuilding of the facility. What is the status of that? And then we need to be looking to the, the DPP to tell us what is the status of that file and are there any um, charges to be laid. Jenny Williams, Frontline News.